Chapter 1 You are listening at FameTV.info Who wants me to die, Chu Yi wakes up and finds himself in the sea. Am I going to die? Feeling more and more powerless, Chu Yi stretched out his hand to make his body surface. Sun Hao, I Chu Yi will not let you go as a ghost. Recalling Sun Hao's unusual performance tonight, Chu Yi knows that he wants to kill himself, what a cruel heart. After getting drunk, he gave himself some sleeping pills and so on, and then he threw himself into the sea secretly. In retrospect, when Sun Hao approached himself, he was deliberately trying to kill himself, but what is his purpose that my own fishing ground dot or because of Zhou Ke as Chu Yi's consciousness became weaker and weaker, his body became deeper and deeper. It seems that death is inevitable, when his consciousness was completely lax, he suddenly saw a white light running towards him, bubble, a giant bubble with white light. The bubble suddenly wrapped Chu Yi and brought a fresh air, hard breathing, Chu Yi gradually felt the existence of the body, restored a trace of strength, just as he wondered why this strange giant bubble could block the sea water, a dark shadow rushed over and bumped into the bubble that a little girl with injuries all over her body suddenly bumps into Chu Yi's arms. This. Chu Yi is a little silly. It's so strange, looking at the girl in his arms, Chu Yi hears a strange cry. Shark. Chu Yi widened his eyes and found that the bubble was surrounded by great white sharks, at least 30 or 50 that they hit the air bubbles hard, trying to tear the little girl in Chu Yi's arms, but the bubble is surprisingly strong, although with the impact of sharks and appears to be some deformation, but did not break. Hey, wake up! Chu Yi shakes the girl in her arms to wake her up that he could feel that there was less and less oxygen in the bubble, and it was hard to escape death if it went on like this. And the light around the bubble is getting weaker and weaker. Chu Yi is very worried that the bubble will break, but outside is a group of terrible sharks, without the protection of the bubble, the outcome can be imagined. Bo. With a sound, Chu Yi felt the sea surrounded him. Finished, Chu Yi called in his heart and quickly went upstream, with a crash, his head came out of the sea. Well, did the bubble bring us up? Chu Yi looked at the sea in surprise, and it was dark all around but the lighthouse in the distance was still shining, which made him feel a little relieved. Sun Hao did not throw himself in the distant sea, but not far from his fishing village. Thinking of a group of terrible sharks in the sea, Chu Yi didn't dare to have any hesitation. He turned over and let the little girl lie on her chest and swim towards the lighthouse, perhaps the strong desire for survival stimulated his adrenaline. Under the idea of struggling to escape, he swam to the shore safely, dragged the girl on the shore, Chu Yi body a soft, the whole person collapsed on the beach, keep panting. After a short rest, Chu Yi, who has recovered a little strength, carries up the girl and walks towards her own home, Dongji village, where he lives, is a remote place. He has no way to send the little girl to the hospital by himself, so he can only go home for a while and ride her to the hospital. Originally more than ten minutes away, Chu Yi walked for nearly an hour before carrying the little girl home, after carefully putting the little girl on the bed, Chu Yi plans to borrow a tricycle from her neighbor, but when he turned around, he suddenly found that the terrible wound on the girl's legs had disappeared. Did I get dizzy before? Chu Yi murmured to himself and bent over to check the girl's body. In her body, did not see any wound. Who the nerve of Chu Yi's tight collapse suddenly relaxed, followed by the irresistible exhaustion, originally, he wanted to report to the police, but as soon as he got up, he fell down. A moment later, there was a purr, tired. He's really tired when he woke up again, he felt sore all over. Well, where's the beautiful little sister? Chewie found that the little girl had disappeared, and there was only a blue bead and the word, thank you, written in water on her bed. Must have just left. Chu Yi said to himself, because the two words on the bed were still wet, Chu Yi picked up the bead and wanted to find the little girl, suddenly, there was a heat in the palm of my hand, as if it was about to catch fire that he quickly shook his hand, trying to throw out the hot bead, but to his horror, the bead got into his palm. Lying trough. Chu Yi wanted to pick the bead with his hand, but all the beads got into his palm. Then he heard a voice in his head. Super Bio Optimization System is bound successfully, 
start to activate the system. System. Bind. Chu Yi looks at his palm stupidly, his face is strange. It's said that reality is more absurd than fiction. Is there really a system? Chu Yi turned his hand over and over, and then took a deep breath. He knew that the voice in his mind was not auditory hallucination, because his whole body is very comfortable now, the pain that makes it difficult for people to move disappeared immediately after the sound. Girl, it's the little girl. Chu Yi came over and rushed out but as soon as he opened the door, Chu Yi hit a soft object, subconsciously, Chu Yi hugged him. A faint fragrance penetrated into the tip of Chu Yi's nose, with a sense of deja vu. Chu Yi, what are you doing? A voice of shame came from his arms, Chu Yi looked down and blushed that IT turned out that he hit Zhou Ku. No, I'm sorry. I'm in such a hurry that I didn't notice. Chu Yi quickly released the other side and stepped back, Zhou Ku's face is also red, embarrassed about the haircut by the sea breeze. I thought you really didn't go to work. It turned out you were sleeping in at home. Zhou Ku joked calmly. Haha, is that what Sun Hao told you? Chu Yi's face is cold, and Sun Hao's appearance appears in his mind. He wants to throw him into the sea to feed the shark. If I didn't meet the big bubble, the little girl see, I'm afraid I'm a floating corpse now, right? The hatred of killing the body is unforgettable, but Chu Yi knows that Sun Hao dares to do that. He can't find any evidence to prove that it was Sun Hao who secretly threw himself into the sea last night, revenge must be avenged, but not by oneself, thinking of this, Chu Yi couldn't help but crook at his mouth that I've already bound the super bio-optimization system. I'm sure there are plenty of opportunities for revenge. Sun Hao, we must pay the price. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.